Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net and today we are talking about mechanical keyboards. We've posted a few articles and videos about mechanical keyboards lately and this video looks at basically all of the best gaming solutions for mechanical keyboards out there right now ranging from $50 to $200 in price. And there are a lot of keyboards. Mechanical keyboards have exploded on the scene lately. It's no doubt that they are the hit item just like closed loop liquid coolers were the hit item a couple of years ago and that means that there's a lot of competition which means the prices are finally falling a bit on mechanical keyboards some of the original mechanical keyboards include IBM's buckling spring model M but things have changed a bit since then we're relying on cherry MX kale toper Alps and a couple other switch types these days so let's get to it first of all this guide will cover from fifty dollars up to two hundred dollars we're gonna start at the top at the most expensive and work our way down Logitech's G910 Orion Spark keyboard recently received our Editor's Choice Award and uses the new Romer G switch type, which is somewhat similar to damped Cherry MX Brown switches in feel, but pretty different in terms of the actual engineering, and that means uh, the way it's built, there's actually very little backlight bleed, which is important because this is an RGB keyboard. So that's pretty cool, and it means that uh, the colors are more vibrant and really only show through the keycap etched letters themselves. It doesn't really bleed over too much, and that is definitely something that's important for RGB boards. We like the overall feel of it. 180 bucks are pretty steep. We need to work our way down a bit. We recommend the Razer Black Widow Chroma and Corsair K70 or K95 as alternatives to the Logitech board if you're unhappy with the Logitech one for some reason. The K70 and K95 are a bit more uh, clean looking. They don't have that gamer aesthetic that the G910 does, but they are still RGB boards. Moving up to the $155 high-end keyboards, we have the Toper Type Heaven, which is a it uses a Toper switch. That's what you see on the screen right here, and that's a combination of rubber domes and springs to create a tactile switch that's somewhat quiet. The rubber dome helps ensure more silence, so it's not as clicky and loud as MX Blues or as uh, really any other type of mechanical switch as buckling springs that the Model M uses, but it's still got that tactile feel. The Toper Type Heaven is expensive because uh, the switches are in fairly high demand and they're not really produced on mass in the way that Cherry or Kale are, but it is still 155 bucks, so not terrible, and uh, a good choice for users who want a more discreet keyboard that doesn't scream gamer, but still has a somewhat quiet and tactile feel. Moving down to $150, DOS Keyboard's DOS Professional Board is available for yet another discreet, reasonable office keyboard that can also be used for gaming. This is a mechanical board that uses Cherry MX Reds, but it also ships with MX Blue variants and MX Brown variants for $135, so $20 cheaper. Has N key rollover, media keys, two USB ports on board, and a couple of other features, relatively high build quality, and definitely worth considering for those who want a more minimalistic approach and who don't have the budget for something like the RGB boards we just looked at. Moving down next to $110, we get mid-range keyboards. There are a lot of keyboards in this price range, including some Corsair K70 non-RGB variants that I am a big, big fan of, but the one we recommend in the guide is Logitech's G710 Plus. At this price point, keyboards begin to include the premium features like macro programming and software and LEDs, but aren't necessarily as decked out or as expensive as the $150 plus board, so it gives a nice mid-range option. I like the Logitech G710 Plus. It uses damped MX Brown switches. They're not quite as loud and as punchy as some of the other switch types because of the way MX Browns are natively plus the O-ring rubber damper, so you may not like it. If you don't like it, I would suggest looking at the Corsair's K70, which is $130 and well worth the look. Moving down now to the budget class mechanical keyboards, we have the $70 Tesoro G2N and Thermaltake Esports Poseidon Z keyboards. We have reviewed both of these on the website. I reviewed the Poseidon Z and liked it. It uses KL blue switches. They are clones in effect of the MX Blue switches, and it's pretty hard to tell the difference. The Poseidon Z has a five-year warranty, so that does make it a bit less questionable to take the Chinese-made Kale switches. And I like the feel, I like the look of the board. It works pretty well, I never had any issues with it, and that is $70, we recommend that pretty highly. The Tesoro G2N is one that Michael Kearns reviewed for the site, and that's another $70 board. It comes with a pretty cool detachable uh, numpad, if you want the TKL set up, uh, you can take that numpad off and it becomes 10 keyless, or you can add it for a 10 key. And quality is good. 
it is using MX Brown switches, but there are, uh, I believe there are alternatives, and you can pick both of those up uh, with N key rollover. Finally, the ultra budget range sees the $50 Rosewell RK6000 keyboard, which uses Alps clone switches manufactured by Tai Hao, and they are rated for only 20 million actuations. So at 20 million actuations, it's about uh, 20 to 30 million less than Kale, and it's a full 50 to 60 million fewer actuations than what the Romer G switch is rated for. So not quite as durable, but still really fine for most users to use for a couple of years and get your $50 worth out of it. So that is what we recommend at that price range if you're on a budget. Poseidon Z, the TTE Sports keyboard, is also available in a 10 keyless option for the same $50 price point. So do consider that if you don't need a 10 key. And that's it for our mechanical keyboards roundup. Check the link in the description below for the full guide with links to all of the products. And I will see you all next time. Peace.